Okay, time for the demolding. Uh, I confess I've already demolded it, so I'm really just going to show you what it looks like. So I had to come around the edges here and release all of it with a putty knife, being careful not to scratch the mold and also not to cut the fibers. I've got about an inch of clearance around before I get to the part itself. So I used a metal putty knife and I also used these plastic uh, scrapers which I used as wedges. Working my way all the way around, prying it loose and, it, and very slowly, carefully um, just getting it to release. Um, the back side of the part here has a gentler slope so I was able to push the wedges farther in this side to get it to break loose. So what it looks like inside so it's got a pinkish hue to it. That's from the PVA, which is a release compound that allows the part to release from the mold. Otherwise, uh, the fiberglass part would stick to fiberglass mold. Um, and that PVA leaves a thin film, which is water soluble, but also sometimes just peels right off of the part. So you can see here, I've already kind of started peeling some of it away, but it just comes off in sheets. I've got it on pretty heavy. Uh, so it's a pretty strong film that can sometime just come off in layers. Anyway, so now all I need to do is clean up the edges, all the flashing around the edge. Um, this time I'm going to try to be careful not to go right into the edge of the part because I want to keep a little bit here because that's what's holding the two skins, the top and bottom together. Although this is filled with polyurethane foam now. I drilled a hole in my mold and uh, when they were clamped together, I filled it with polyurethane foam. So all the way from, I had it standing on end, filled from, from tip to root with polyurethane foam. It gives it tremendous stability, rigidity. So that's it.